G'day guys, um, today I'm going to crush some more of that hematite rock uh, that I brought back from out bush. Yeah, I'll just show you what I've got in the bucket. Yeah, so, not a real lot, but yeah, I'll just, um, I've still got more in the shed. So, this is uh, just a bit I broke up into smaller pieces. So, I'll run this through the crusher. And um, yeah, and I'll pan it out and just see if, see if I can get a bit more gold out of it. Uh, I'll have to do another trip out there and dig down into that hematite and get some of the rock a bit deeper down in the ground. I'll do that maybe later in the week. I'll go back out there. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. And just while I'm thinking about it, um, I had some concerns about um, me putting my fingers in the top of the feeding tube. Anyway, I'll show you what it is. It, there's a lid that you lift back to expose the feeding tube, and down in the feeding tube here, there's another little trap door. See that? A little trap door there. Maybe you can see that. Anyway, so what I was doing, when I was putting the rocks down in here, sometimes they'd, they'd hang up on this little trap door. So I was just pushing the trap door open and letting the rocks feed into the, into the feed um, chute. The um, the hammers are down here. They're down here in the cylinder. So you can see the cylinders there where the hammers are. And you've got this long feed chute, which is sort of a, I oh know, an L shape. Um, yeah, so my fingers are up here. Up the top here, pushing the rocks in. And the hammers are way down here. Okay, someone will, will say, but what about the rocks if they flick back? They might hit you in the fingers, but... Nah, so it's, it's all pretty good guys, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, first pan, that's all crushed up, beautiful, nice, nice fine consistency, like mud this stuff, when you add water, I've got soap uh, in, the, uh, in the water, so, there we go, but um, like you've seen before, if you've seen my other videos where I've crushed up this hematite, the gold, the gold and the copper that's in it's very fine. So there's a chance that some of it will wash out when I'm panning it. I'm not too worried about that.
it's just all super fine gold. I can see it in there. It's 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 really fine. Um, yeah. I, oh no, you wouldn't be able to see it in the camera. I can see them with me. I've got my glasses on. My reading glasses, and I can see all these little fine little little specks in there. Um, yeah, some of it's gold, some of it's copper. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'll um, pan them out. I'm only putting a little bit in the pan at a time. I'll pan it out and I'm going to collect it all up, and um, and I might try smelting it at another stage, and just to see if I can recuperate um, the fine gold out of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, that's it guys, um, all finished. Uh, just a few little specks of copper and gold in the, in the pan when I've finished up. In the black pan here, I've got it all in there. And I won't be able to keep all these tailings. And I'll run through them again. Because there's going to be more fines in there that I've, that I've just washed out of the pan. That's that fine. Yeah. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll put some pictures up. Or I might do a little video of my microscope running across the pan you can see all the fine gold and copper in the pan yeah. anyway guys thanks for watching sorry I didn't have any any bigger pieces to show you but uh, that's it it's just just super fine gold yeah okay guys bye take care